There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. People say that somebody turned on the antenna towers. Hey, I saw your notice on the bulletin board. Uh, you're a runner. Excellent. That idiot Dawood sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I've got a backup pair at my place. It's not far away, it's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else while I'm there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and, um, one more thing. See, we're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it.
Thousand and one banana recipes. On a bookcase, he said. Okay. You got yourself a horse head, big butt. See, defeat a couch potatoes guy to a vegetable guy. That's the one. Have a look good over 40. Falafel diet. Big book of death. DVD player user manual. Simple tricks to get the chicks. Wet dream, the first romance novel for plumbers. Good God. You're Crane, right? I heard a man talking about you. Don't worry, I'm not going to call you 31. I mean, we're all people here, aren't we? Not just numbers? Yeah, I'm Crane. Who are you? My name is Haluk. Hey, so you've met Spike, haven't you? He's sort of our resident mad scientist. Yeah, I know Spike. Yes, Spike will tell you a lot of things. But there's also some things he won't tell you. Like his real name, it's Rudolph. Or that his birthday is coming up soon. He'll be 50. He doesn't look that old, does he? Are you saying I should get him some sort of birthday gift? Oh, goodness, no. He hates birthdays. It's just... Spike was renting a room from me when the outbreak happened. So I guess I probably know him better than anyone else in Haran. You know, he used to teach at the University of Southern California. He decided to take a... I, I suppose you could call it a, a sabbatical. There was a sort of an incident with a very attractive young co-ed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spike walked away from his job and came to Ron because he had an affair with one of his students? Her parents seemed to believe it was the only way for her to pass his class. Not very bright people, if I had to guess. No, no, no. There was no affair. Only accusation. I don't even think it was the girl's idea. So then, what are you asking me to do for Spike? Well, if you could just... I miss hanging out with him. Tell him I said hi, okay? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll get right on that. You've got my glasses and the book? Ah, that's great! Good lord, my glasses are filthy. What have you been doing with them? No, 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 never mind. It, it doesn't matter. Here, let me give you something for your trouble. Where is the safest place in your home from a zombie? Uh, this again. 